Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my new video. Simple and multiple linear regression models through the origin. Some issues and uh, consequences. My dear followers, in today's video, I am exploring some something new, uh, and this uh, this video is about uh, uh, running regression through the origin. Uh, its uh, issues and uh, consequences. Before I do that, uh, let me remind you that uh, if you haven't yet uh, subscribed to my channel, uh, kindly do subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, don't forget to click on bell icon so that you can get notification about my other videos that uh, I will soon upload for you. So let me first uh, share with you the data. This is some hypothetical data. And uh, this data is, uh, this column number one shows serial numbers. These are sale revenues. These are cost of production. This is profit. This is uh, advertising expenditure. And this is quality control. And all these data are on uh, 1000 Pak rupees, Pakistani rupees. And uh, column number one is uh, serial, serial numbers. Uh, in this slide, you will see regression of profit on sales revenue, simple linear regression model. So first I am using simple linear regression model. And uh, here is my output. Uh, this output shows that uh, the dependent variable is a profit of a firm. And uh, our uh, independent variable is a sales revenue. So this is the summary output. The Correlation coefficient between the observed and the predicted uh, profit is given by multiple R and that is 0.87. The R squared of this model is 0 0.75, almost 76%. Uh, Adjusted R squared is almost 73%. Total number of observations are 10. Uh, this is the ANOVA. The F statistics is significant. Here is the coefficient of the intercept, which is negative. Since this is profit, so for the profit function, the uh, coefficient uh, must be al always negative. And uh, this is the coefficient of the sales revenue. And it says that uh, if sales revenue increases by $1 million, profit will increase by $0.6 million. And if we check the uh, standard errors, their T states and P values, now these are significant. So the results are good. But uh, what if I run the same regression through the origin? So here I again regress uh, uh, profit on uh, sales revenue, but this time I suppress the intercept. Because if there is no sales revenue, then there will be no profit of the firm. So I suppressed the uh, interceptor and here is my output. Now. The first impact is that the multiple R decreased, the R squared drastically decreased to 33% and similarly the adjusted R squared also decreased and uh, the F statistic also decreased. It was previously significant at 5% level but now it is significant uh, at uh, almost 7%. And uh, this time the coefficient uh, previously it was 0 0.6. Now the coefficient is 0 0.05. Similarly, uh, the T state, uh, state also decreased and uh, the P value also uh, increased. It was previously 0 0.0. Let me check it. It was, uh, uh, it was uh, 0 0.001. But now in regression through the origin, it is now 0 0.06. Anyway, results are still better, but uh, these results are not uh, as good as uh, results of the previous regression. But remember one thing, if your theory says that, you know, the intercept must be uh, suppressed, then we should follow this model. Here is another model. Now I'm using multiple linear regression model. And this time I am regressing profit on advertising expenditure and uh, quality control. So again, if I see my multiple R increase to 0 0.86, the 
the r squared also jumped and it is 0 0.74 adjusted r square is 0 0.66 the f statistic is also significant and uh, the intercept is again negative that is a good, a good sign this is advertising expenditure and this is a quality control coefficients uh, but if i look at the p values uh, both of the coefficients are uh, insignificant although uh, here the sign is uh, positive and uh, here the sign is uh, also positive uh, but their uh, p values are uh, insignificant so r squared is uh, higher but both the, the coefficients are insignificant so there are two indications either there is a multicollinearity between advertising expenditure and quality control or there is some problem with the model specification i'll discuss that later on here i am also running multiple linear regression model but this time i have suppressed the interceptor so multiple r is 0 0.78 and r square decreased but uh, not much but adjusted r square decreased a lot the f statistic is still significant that is the overall model is good but this time when i suppress the interceptor the sign of the advertising expenditure became negative but the sign of the quality control is uh, still positive uh, but uh, the coefficient of the advertising expenditure is insignificant but the coefficient of quality control is a uh, uh, significant so there is a, a lot of difference between these results and the results of the uh, previous uh, model so what is the problem the problem is that uh, we must correctly use the profit function and uh, in this model in this uh, uh, slide we see that uh, profit is a function of the output x means output sometime we use x for output sometime we use q for output and that is equal to the revenue function the revenue is uh, also function of uh, output and uh, then there is minus and then there is the cost function so cost is also function of output revenue is also function of output so ultimately profit is also function of output let us suppose the cost function is uh, the, the revenue function is given by this quadratic function and that is 300x minus 200x square now this sign is positive this sign is negative so this means that the revenue is a decrease that, that, that the revenue is increasing at a decreasing rate with output level and uh, here in these parentheses uh, this is the cost function that is the linear function so if you take the difference of the revenue function and the cost function then we finally get this function and the profit function is also a quadratic function and it also shows that uh, it is increasing at a decreasing rate but uh, it depends upon how you uh, how your uh, cost function is now in this case cost function is linear and the revenue function is quadratic so the profit function is quadratic but usually the cost function is a uh, uh, cubic like uh, in this uh, slide you will see uh, that uh, let me start with how profit function is derived let us suppose that this is the inverse uh, demand function and p is a function of q and uh, this now if i want to uh, let us suppose that my cost function is quadratic and it is given by this equation c is equal 0.04 q raised to the power 3 minus uh, 1.94 q raised to the power 2 plus 32.96 q now from equation number 1 we obtain the total revenue function of the say monopolist form as given by this r is equal to a p times q that is output multiplied by price gives us total revenue so if we multiply this function by q we get this function so this is revenue function therefore the profit function of this form is equal to profit pi is equal to r minus c and if we uh, if we subtract uh, this function from this function then we get this function so the profit function here will also be quadratic okay and it shows that uh, 
this time the uh, profit function is not cubic but it is a uh, quadratic so the problem with the previous uh, regression equations were that uh, i did not uh, i did not uh, specify the model correctly and then when i suppressed the constant term then the results were haphazard uh, but uh, usually we have profit function like this and uh, there is no intercept and it means that uh, if output is zero then uh, profit will be zero so this is the linear term this is the quadratic term and this is the uh, cubic uh, term so uh, ladies and gentlemen you must be very careful whenever you are specifying regression whether your regression should be through the origin or uh, with the intercept term so for some uh, for some regression usually all the softwares take or uh, in, include the intercept or the con constant term by default but sometime you must obey the theory and according to the theory then you should uh, suppress uh, the constant term like in the profit function uh, we will suppress the intercept term so uh, this is the uh, right thing ladies and uh, gentlemen thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, video and let me also share with uh, you in excel how i did that here is my excel file and uh, you know the same data that i have used in the slides uh, this data i copied from here to the powerpoint presentation and these are the various types of regression that is the regression of profit on sale you have exactly the same this is with the uh, suppressing intercept and uh, the last one here is a uh, with intercept you also saw that i copied it from here and then we also i also use some other models uh, in which i use the multiple regression model this one uh, with the without intercept and then this one uh, with intercept and so on so i hope you have got idea 